Double honors to my elders and my apostles at Great Millstone who rule well for teaching me this truth. Salutations to you. I came out there in the four corners, laboring in the truth, pushing with all righteousness and sincerity. To your confusion to face, brothers, so don't look like your average everyday Israelites, but you are according to the Holy Spirit. To you, I say Shalom. There's the brother Kai Ha here coming back at you with another video by Hashem Rakhak Wadash. Going into how the souls of the just is supposed to be complaining continually. Meaning what? We always supposed to be crying out to you, Haba Hashem al for the wicked abominations that's done in Babylon. Okay? Starting with two-thirds of our people. On down to Esau, the so-called white man. And the rest of these heathen nations, man. Why? Because this place is, is totally, it's filthy. All right? There's nothing righteous about the world we're in today. There's nothing righteous about it because you saw the so-called white man took everything and flipped it. Okay? And the, and the scriptures say, Woe to them that call good evil and evil good. All right? This place is completely filthy, man. It's polluted. All right? You got, you got trainees walking around. The women out of order. Children out of order. The men are weak. All right? There's nothing righteous about this place. The food is not food. It's garbage, man. They feeding us plastic. They they basically feeding us just de, just defiled things, man. Things that we shouldn't even be eating. That we're not even supposed to be putting in our systems. But that's what's going on today, man. So if you're a man of the Lord, if you're calling yourself a prophet, then you need to be crying out to you, how about Shem Al-Shah continually, man? Okay? Praying to the Lord to deliver you. To the, and we, we always pray to the Lord to deliver us, man. That's why we go and we teach. Okay, but with that being said, this is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 15, verse 5. I'm going to start at verse 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All of that is coming to this whole entire world. Okay, for the wickedness of two-thirds of our people and each other so-called white man. Okay? Because this world is it's, it's, it's all out of order, man. The so-called white man has knocked this, this world off of its, its natural ordinance. Okay, there's supposed to be order to everything and the so-called white man, right along with two thirds of our people is going against that natural order that Yahweh Shem al Shah has set up. Okay, the world was perfect. It says, behold, say the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death and destruction. So all of that is coming. This place got to be cleansed. Okay, it's about to be a purging of this whole entire world, a purging in, in the nation of Israel in the house of Israel, man, this, which is the house of God. Okay, verse 6, it says, For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Yeah, man, you, the earth is mourning, as the scriptures say. The earth languishes. Do you know? Now, the trees, the trees ain't growing like how they're supposed to. The, the rest of these plants, the animals are eating what they need to be eating. The so-called white man is taking them away from their habitations. Like I said earlier, man, you got trannies walking around, women out of order, everything is just... Is off its course. So Yahweh Shem Al Shah has to come back and take this place out. Okay, with fire. All right, and that's going to be the second death. Okay, it says, For wickedness, so like it, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Yeah, man, everything that Esau, the so called white man, is doing. Okay, start with that guy because he's a, he's a walking abomination. Everything he do is unright. The scriptures say what? His soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. Okay, and us being Israelites, us being men of the Lord, we got to be prophesying against this goddamn devil. All right, because he ain't right. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. The scriptures say what? Their sins have reached into the heaven. Okay? Everything that Esau, the so-called white man, has done to the nation of Israel and to the whole entire world, Yahweh Shem al has heard it for the sake of the elect. Okay, verse seven. Therefore, saith the Lord. Yeah, this. Therefore, the. Uh, therefore, saith the Lord. So the Lord, the Lord is 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 talking about how wicked the so um the two thirds of our people on Esau, the so called white man is, man. Okay, and this is the prophet Ezra speaking from uh from from the spirit of the Lord. Okay, verse eight. It says, "I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness." Yeah, man, the Lord. And that's, that's what's going on right now. The Lord said he's not going to hold his tongue no more concerning their wickedness, okay? And that's, that's starting with the prophets. Lord, when we be those men? We go and we prophesy, okay? We are the mouthpieces of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh The Lord sent us out here to open up, our, open up our mouths and speak against this goddamn devil, man. All right? 
and two thirds of our people who are also devils. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. That word profane means outside the temple. It says, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Okay? So anything that, that Jake is doing, all right, all the way from thieving to uh, adultery, idolatry, all right, being a homosexual, a lesbian, whatever it is, Yabash Shino Hashem said he's going to speak, he's speaking out against that. Okay, both uh, two thirds of our wicked ass people. Okay, the Salakia, the wicked of our people, all right, the two thirds, and he saw the so called white man. The Lord said he's he's not going to hold his tongue no more concerning everything that's been going on. Okay, because for a while during the time of slavery, the Lord Yahweh Shem he he was holding his tongue for a long while. Okay, but now the prophets are waking up. So the Lord he said, "What? Neither will I suffer them in those things." Okay. Anything abominable. The Lord is not going to allow this thing any longer. All right. It says in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. And that's what we're doing. All right. By, by uh, going to you, by Shema with all of our all of our burdens, man, all of the vexation that we don't witness, whether it's the day before. OK, today. And, and so on and so forth, man. Okay? We we go and we complain to you how about Shema Sha about how about how vexed we are, man. That's why we push these videos. Because this is this this is really a way of talking to the Lord as well, man. Okay, mainly going to the Lord in prayer. Okay. But this is pleasing to the Lord because we complaining to him. We begging the Lord to get us to get us up out of here. The one hundred forty four thousand and the one third. Lord will we be those men? Okay. It says the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. All right. We we are the innocent. We are called the innocent. Why? Because we know we're guilty. Okay. And because we know we're guilty, like as uh, as, as the scriptures say, we're innocent. All right. Because we're vexed at this place. All right. The elect doesn't want to be wicked. The elect wants to be righteous. We need righteousness. Okay. It says the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me. All right, and that's what we're doing right now. We had our righteous blood crying unto you, how about Shema Shah? Because we're, we're vexed in this place, man. It's wicked as hell. We subject to payments. We got to wake up and go to work. All right, sometimes nine through, through hell, 15 hours, man. Okay, this is hell. The souls of the just, okay, the upright. The elect is going to co uh, complain continually unto you, how about Shema Shah? Verse nine, it says, and therefore... Saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Yeah, Yahba Shema Shah said what in the um in the book of Romans the um I believe it's the ninth chapter. Okay, vengeance is mine; I shall repay. Okay, so we got to wait upon Yahba Shema Shah. The Lord said He's gonna avenge us for everything that we've been through concerning two thirds of our people and Esau the so-called white man and the rest of these wicked heathen. Okay, and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. So the Lord and how the Lord is gonna do that. He's going to, he's going to, the Lord, Yahweh Shah, he's coming back with a fleet of chariots, man. So at the same time as this place is getting destroyed, it's going to, it's going to be, uh, some brother, it's going to be brothers getting saved. And that's the elect, the 144,000 and the one third. Okay. But you got to have a pure hatred for this place, man. You have to be vexed. You got to complain to Yahweh Shah about how vexed, about how vexed in this place is. He already know. All right. The angels is marking it down. The angels see everything, man. But the Lord finds it pleasing when you go to him and you, you, you beg him to, to, you know what I'm saying, wake up the elect to come back and, to, and you know what I'm saying, deliver us. Because that's what we need. All right. Let me get this in the book of Ezekiel to back that up. All right. Proving that we're supposed to be vexed in this place, man. All right. And how the Lord is going to save us, man. This is what he told the prophet Ezekiel. Ezekiel 9 and 4. It says, and the Lord said unto him. Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, and that's the point, man. Okay, all of these wicked, filthy acts that's being done within the nation of Israel, within Edom, and so on and so forth. Okay, we got to be sighing and we got to be crying about it. Because it's vexing, man. We getting persecuted every single day, man. It's, and it's only going to get worse. Okay, we're sick of seeing trainees walking around. 
We're sick of our women being out of order, man. We're sick of waking up, going to work. We're sick of all of this thing. All right? And that word mark, it says, where it says, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry, okay? That word mark goes back to the Hebrew word tawa, which means exemption from judgment. So the elect, the elect is, is not going to be caught up in a missile like the rest of the world. Okay? That's our patience, man. That's our faith. All right, we, we're trying to be accepted by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, because the Lord sees the righteous works that we're doing for him. Okay, going out, presenting our bodies as living sacrifices, as the scriptures say. Okay, we're doing all of this for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah so that way we don't get caught up in that destruction. Mainly because we want to see this wicked ass place destroyed. Because there ain't going to be no better day than that. Okay, when we're ruling over our oppressors. Okay, when Yahweh shall come back in and put them laws, statutes, and the commandments in our in our in our minds, man, when we totally righteous again, that's the day we're waiting for. Okay, verse five it says, "And to the others, he said, in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite." And our word smite means to kill. It says, "Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity." All right, and after that, after you know, you get that mark upon your head, Lord willing, we got those marks because we doing what the Lord told us to do. All right. After those marks, all right. After those exemptions from judgments go out, everybody else is gonna have to die, man. Okay. Even though this is written over thousand, this is written thousands of years ago, it still applies to today. Okay. A lot. It's gonna be a lot of death out here. Verse six. And here's proof of that. It says, "Slay utterly young, so like you slay utterly," which means completely old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark that the wa it says and begin at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. Yeah, man, they started at the house of Israel because the scriptures say what? For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God. OK, so it started with our, our forefathers in that 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 killing. All right. All that smiting is still going on right now. All right. And the biggest the biggest amount of killing is going to happen. In the um in the day of judgment, man. In the day when Yahweh shall come back and he judged the world with the law. All right, judge starting off with the house of Israel, the house of God. Okay, because we ought to know better. Okay? But niggas are still out here lost, niggas still want to be niggas, man. Okay? And that's why uh, uh men, women, and little children gotta die. By way of the sword, man. That Yahweh Shema Shah is coming back with that destruction, man. The destruction from the Almighty. The scriptures say what? Like it says in um Second Edges 15, the chapter I was in, okay? All the unfaithful should die in their unfaithfulness, man. All right, because they wanted to live it up in Babylon. They didn't cry into Yahweh Shah, their true power. Okay, all of the hey, all of these people that's in verse 6, Ezekiel 9 and 6, all of these people gotta die. They didn't call on Yahweh Shem Al Shah being Israel. Okay? But that was the point on that, man. It was just heavy on my spirit, man. Just, shit just vexed it, man. Okay? And with that being said, man, Lord willing, that was edifying. We got to continue to... Matter of fact, so like, yeah, I'm going to close out with this scripture, man. I'm going to close out with this scripture. Okay? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 9. It says, For evildoers shall be cut off. Okay? Two-thirds of our people... And he saw the so-called white man, all right, evildoers. But those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Okay, and that's what we want right now. Okay, we want the whole we want the whole earth back. We want the world back because it's ours, man. All right, the Lord gave the world, okay, the heathen as well, all right, to the nation of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Verse 10 it says, For yet a little while. And the wicked shall not be. All right, the wicked ain't going to be no more. You saw the so-called white man is going to get thrown in chains, man. Just like the rest of these heathen nations. Yay. It's so like it. Yeah. No, no, no. I was right. Yay. Thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. Yeah, the wicked ain't going to have a place in this world no more. Okay? You saw the so-called white man is going to get tortured in the kingdom of heaven. All right? Verse 11. It says, but the meek shall inherit the earth. And shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. It's going to be total peace when Yahweh Shah comes back. Okay? And, and you know the destruction is over. All right? But that's a way of peace too because America getting destroyed. That's, that's peace, man. 
okay, for all the wickedness leaving this place and finally burning up, you know, like the scripture said, all the hurtful works thereof, all right, that's, that's going to be peace to our ears, man, music to our ears. The elect is going to be enjoying the righteousness that Yahweh Shah is bringing, man, okay? But that's a good scripture to end it off at. Lo, Wolan Akin was edified by Hashem Rakhak Wadash. Hey, continue to cry on to Yahweh Hashem man. All right, that's our only hope. This is it. Okay? Shalom.